The subway can take us straight to Mercy Hospital. Might not be a bad idea to get off the street. Hi, my name is Gabe Newell, and welcome to Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead is our first attempt to combine the strengths of single-player and multiplayer games. We wanted to take the character-driven storytelling of our single-player games, like Half-Life, yeah. and combine it with the social replayability of our multiplayer games, like Counter-Strike and Team Fortress 2. Plot. We experimented with a variety of different introductions for While we were developing bots for Counter-Strike Source, we discovered that a f Originally in Left 4 Dead, there were some features that made it possible for players to cause trouble for others. This behavior, known as griefing, can really ruin the experience of a game, especially for newer players. For instance, at this starting location, while players were still getting used to the controls, other players might push them off the roof. We treat the infected horde as a major character in Left 4 Dead and spend a lot of effort in making their movements believable. This includes hundreds of motion-captured animations that are out- Left 4 Dead requires a variety of areas off the main path where the infected can spawn. We learned that once we had created these spaces, players naturally wanted to explore them. So fairly late in development, we decided to reward the players for going into these areas by allowing the random creation of bonus items such as pain pills, molotovs, pipe bombs, and extra pistols. The most common attitude toward music in multiplayer games is that it just gets in the way. We wanted the music in Left 4 Dead to heighten the key emotional elements that Once the game is in a playable state, we bring in friends and family who've never played the game to playtest specific areas, maps, or campaigns. These players bring a fresh perspective and objectivity to the game experience that often gives us new insights into what's working and what's not in our games. The designs of the boss infected were yeah. driven directly from weaknesses observed during our daily playtesting. For example, in the very early days of the game, the Screamer was a boss zombie who didn't have any actual attacks. He was bound in a straitjacket. You knew when he was around because of his crazed, maniacal cackling. The trick to the Screamer was that if... To overcome the horror and darkness of Left 4 Dead, our highest priority was to create four believable people for the survivors, which you could connect with. With the design of Francis, we were looking for a large, imposing character that would fit in well during the zombie apocalypse. To find a coherent visual look for Left 4 Dead, we first had to make choices that would help enhance gameplay. When we started what was to become Asians Left 4 Dead in late 2004, for Terror Strike, as it was known at the time, anyone designing a post-apocalyptic city way, has to deal with the problem of how to light it. Initially, our take on it was that the city still had power. You could see lights in many windows and the streetlights. Car alarms are an example of what we call panic events. Brief, intense, and maybe avoidable. Buildings by nature tend to be pretty square. And if there's a well-lit building with a dark sky behind it, you clearly see the squareness. Early versions of Left 4 Dead allowed more skillful players to run off on their own without much fear of deadly consequences, bobbing and weaving around the infected before they could react. The addition of player slowdown went That was a good piece of work.